Okay. And as I said, I'm uh, Kellick. Um, Elena, do you have anything that you'd say, like to say? Welcome. I'm Elena. Woof, woof. <laughs> Gwen, you have anything to, to say to start off? I don't know if, he's, if you're talking, you're muted. Sorry, I just wanted to say that I am driving, so I'm very much listening myself at, in the, at the moment. Okay, great. Uh, so we're really here to, to listen, to try to get feedback and answer any questions anybody has. So this can, uh, you have a, a captive audience, so you can ask whatever questions you want. So anybody got anything? I don't have any pre anything prepared. It's really, we're here for you. So this is just a general thing, right? Yeah, just a general. You, anything you want to talk about? Um, hey, so uh, so I was looking at the new, the updated uh, uh, Armor Combat uh, Handbook. Yep. And I was going to ask, since we are, you know, definitely saying, okay, we have just the siege authorization. Right. In the authorization database, can we consolidate the siege crew and siege engineer? Uh, I know that there, ha there haven't been any new siege crew in over a decade. Right. So that's uh, a question about the database backend. Um, and I don't know how hard it is to, to, to modify that. Um, if you have uh, a, a great weapon authorization, I think you're listed in there twice already too. So there's a couple mm. other database issues that, that I'd like to get cleaned up. Um, I don't know how hard it is with the the current structure to to do that, um, but it's something as like a, a long term kind of plan to to look into would be would be great to clean that up and a couple other things. So yeah. Okay. I guess mine kind of hinges on that comment about the database of um, authorizations, and that is. Um, do marshals or regionals or um, kingdom marshals have access to a viewing spreadsheet to see which authorizations their attendees have and when they might expire? Yeah, um, so that's, we'll take that as kind of a, a multi-part kind of question, uh, access to the database. Um, on the, the database, they have uh, different views. Um, let me, I'm gonna pull it up here and then uh, maybe I'll share my screen. We haven't done that on any of these sessions, so that'll be uh, fun and exciting. So one moment. Um, authorizations last as long as you have a waiver on file. So you need to have a, a waiver, and we're supposed to keep those, uh, I believe it's seven years. Um, so they don't really have uh, a um, ending kind of date. Uh, okay. So we'll go ahead and share this screen here. I'll share the authorization. Okay, so you should be able to see the authorization database. Um, I don't know if it's by by discipline. I don't think it is. We have regional views, um, but within here, I could come, I can come right here and I can uh, export everything as an Excel or a CV, uh, CSV. Um, I don't think I have, and this probably won't pull up uh, in the same window. Yeah, it's going to try to open it in numbers on my Mac, but that would export the the uh, the whole file. Um, I'm going to see what pulls up here. Uh, so I'm going to stop sharing this. I'm going to share the the other screen. Uh, so here is a list of everybody who is uh, authorized, um, but this does not show all the authorizations. So that's uh, not as helpful as I was hoping it would be. Um, okay, so that's something we need to, to see if we can't get uh, added onto here. Um, we'll go back to the other one. If you open it as an Excel, can you change the viewing parameters and like be able to print it onto one sheet? Uh, I think if you're doing that, yes. Um, uh, so I think, oh, here we could, um, this isn't, uh, it's by region, but they do have the authorizations. 
Uh, so it would be five downloads that you could then put together to, to get one one full list. Um, and if you if you need a list of all of the the combatants uh, for your area, Gwen, I can um, I I have uh, I can re pull it. I can pull everything going through the the back end and pull out just the equestrian and send them over to you. So I would, I would, yes, I would like that. Do is that is that something that only you, as the overarching marshal, have access to? Well, you could go and pull each of the, the regions and then join them together and do it that way. I think. Um, so no, I don't think it's just me. And I know the clerk of the roster, uh, Isabel, can she can do a lot more than I can. Uh, she's a lot more familiar with it, so she probably has the ability to do a little bit more. Um, but I can definitely do it, uh, and I can probably do it easier than. Than going and pulling five reports. So I can do that. That'll probably be, uh, it's not going to be tonight. So I'll, I'll see if I get that to you in tomorrow or the day after. There's no hurry. I was just curious about what the opportunities to utilize that information is. Yep. I pulled it down um, a couple of weeks back to maybe a month. And I put together uh, some analysis around how many marshals we have in the different activities. So we have kind of those numbers uh, available to us too. Um, I suppose there hasn't been an equestrian event, so the the numbers might still be good uh, from when when I pulled it. But uh, that's on my other computer. Um, and touching on that uh, vaguely, it's we're getting close to reporting time for all the disciplines and. Uh, all of the areas except target archery are now using one Google form and target archery is using a, a separate uh, Google form. Um, so you, you don't need to go out and use the services portal. It looks like you were going to say something there, Nihilus, Kazmar. You had the look of somebody. Who yeah, was yeah, um, yeah, I've, I've got to find that Google doc at this point to figure out how to work it. Is that, do you need the, which one do you need? Well, I'm an armored marshal. I'm a combat. I mean, I'm an armored combat marshal. Uh, yeah, uh, armored marshal, a strong weapons marshal, a target archery marshal, a youth marshal, a combat archery marshal. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to do it multiple times. Yeah, you'll have to use the the target archery one for the target archery one, but the other one, yeah, you can just uh, go through it multiple times, and and that'll take care of that. Okay, and, and where where's the link to that? Just real is it on the the kingdom web page uh i know that the we got the everybody but target archery one up there earlier and i i have i don't think i got the target archery one updated yet so i'll get that one up okay. there so if, you're, so if i just go to if i just go to midrealm.org and go to the marshall's page i can find it uh you know they told me that you not maybe the target archery one well no i'm not worried about that one right now but the i got the, an email with that one yeah, the other ones. Yep, it's uh the first link on the page. Well, we'll okay. share. Okay, okay. I it's, just haven't been to the web page to look at it re that recently. Right. We tried to get everything. Uh, we're trying to get the web page updated um, as quickly as we can. That's uh, weird. Um, that's, I'm looking here now, I'm noticing right here, it says email to Marshall at Archery Marshall, which is not a, a valid email address or, so we need to get that. Yeah. So there's always lots of things to be, to be fixed. Um, but here is the, the link to everything except target archery. Okay. Top of the page. Um, I've gone through, uh, I, uh, rapier is due right now. So I went through and I submitted my rapier one and I thought it was pretty easy. Okay. So, uh, just a quick question then. Okay. Uh, as far as my base marshal, okay, I am also the Knights Marshal for uh, the Barony Northwoods. Do I also put that one through the Google form? You do. Okay. Yep. Pretty easy. Uh, I guess the next question might be about rosters. Um, and you can just email that over if you need to, to make any changes or anything like that to the roster. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I had a quick question that kind of piggybacks off of those. I'm not sure if it's a back end issue or just a front end uh, visibility issue, but uh, I was in the process of getting ready to get the reauthorization paperwork done. And when I went through and tried to pull from the database last time, uh, it didn't list anything. 
um, no authorizations, none of the others. And I wasn't sure if that was just a, because time had passed, it uh, simply made it unavailable from the front end to be viewing, uh, getting rid of clutter or uh, if it was actually uh, wiped out, erased, you know, after a certain point. I guess uh, my question is, is it still there and visible or would it be easier to just start anew? So it might be. Uh, I don't know what all names you might be under. Like the database, is, like it's a little bit finicky that way. Um, so I we, tried even just the generic Ian, I-A-I-N, which is what all the official paperwork was under. Yeah, I'm looking out here myself. Um, like, region. The, the database is, is one thing. Uh, like we do want it to be up there and any way it goes, we'd have to get you, uh, I'm, I'm seeing some ENs, but not you. Uh, one from Sternfeld, one from Shadowed Stars and one from Falcon's Quarry. Uh, Whitewaters and Starleaf Gate. So I, I don't think that you're in there. Okay. Um, but what we would need to do, uh, you fought recently, haven't you? Mm, not since 2018. Okay. Um, so that may have gotten cleared out within when we move over, moving over databases. Um, when you, what previous authorizations did you have? Uh, I had all heavy, uh, was siege, combat archery, uh, didn't have rapier, didn't have equestrian. Okay. So when you go through your authorization, um, when you go through your reauthorization, uh, any marshal who is doing it, I, I'm going to assume that they're, they're going to know you, or if you find me at an event, I'll do your reauthorization, uh, and we'll make sure the paperwork is, is updated correctly. So it lists that you have uh, the forms now are, are single-handed weapon, two-handed weapon, pike, uh, combat archery, and siege. So we just have five authorizations. Okay. Uh, make sure that they're all listed, and we'll li uh, we'll list it as a reauthorization with these forms. Okay. That works. That okay. answers answers my question. We'll also have to make sure that you sign a waiver. Uh, so we have to get a waiver, particularly for uh, so that they can store it with the, the clerk of the roster and keep it on in her records. Got it. Yeah, I suspect that the previous one probably when they cleared out all the others that probably went with it. So could be hard to say. Yep. Uh, uh, I I did I was doing uh, North Oaken, so not Penamir, so I don't really know. That was in uh in my purview at that time. Okay. Do. Um. Uh, anybody else have a question or topic they'd like to talk about? I I just noticed something on that uh, report, and and I guess it it, it should this should be obvious. But it's a Google Doc. Right. You have to have a Google account. No, I think you just have to have an email address. Well, I just went to look at the form, and the, when I click through the form, the first thing it says is sign into Google to save your progress. Yeah, I, don't, I think you can tell that you don't want to save your progress. Okay, so if you, if you don't have a Google account, you just fill it in, you're just not gonna be able to save it. Is that it? That's my understanding. Mm, okay. Uh, can't say I mean, I have a Google account, so that doesn't bother me, but uh, <laughs> there may be people out there that don't. We'll give it a try. Um, we will come to uh, this window. So I am in incognito, so I'm not signed in. So if I just do test. We'll say Domesday. Or admit, we're admitting cope. So I'll do rapier. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be required to, to have it. Uh, and I'm a member of the field. And that's if you're a marshal of the field, that's all the further you have to go down. Um, I did not sign in up here. Uh, and then I submit. Done. So you don't have okay. to have uh, If you, I think that that's if you wanted to, if you sign in, then if you if you leave and you come back, then then it'll pick up where you left off. 
Um, but it seems like it's a short enough form that I don't know how big a worry that is. Okay. No, okay, so that, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, the uh, old share screen's getting a lot of use today. That's exciting. Um, what else would people like to talk about? I have a um, question for, oh. I, I have a question for Equestrian. Um, so we just recently lost our, our Equestria Marshal. She, she moved out of kingdom. What is the best way to get a hold of, to, to put a request before Equestria Marshals to have someone marshal at your event? This would be in May. Is, sure. Is, uh, is yeah, there an email list or a Facebook or something else i would recommend our facebook page that is um we have a mid-realm equestrian marshals page or you can just post it to the general um equestrians who also have all the marshals and that will be mid-realm riders and so you can also um welcome everybody to attend and then say we are also looking for a marshal Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, what region are you in, sir? Uh, North Oaken. Um, I'm the regional uh, Northern Oaken deputy for equestrian, so you can get directly a hold of me that I can help you find somebody for that. Okay. Are you North Oaken dot equestrian? Yes, I am. I'm, a, I'm also Gwen's deputy for the kingdom, too. Okay. And you're down in Mugmore, aren't you? Correct. Okay, I and I've actually marshaled down there for you guys when you guys first had it. So yeah, go ahead and get in touch with me, and I will help you out next year. All right, sounds good. Thank you. You're entirely welcome. Great. I like that we're making connections. That's exciting. Uh, who's next? Anybody else have anything they'd like to talk about? I did have a question. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe Gwen can answer this. As a regional, I have my marshals that report to me, and if we're going to be using this new um, form and they don't have to use the portal, do I have to then like collect my marshals' information and do my um, deputy report for the for the region up to Gwen, or does that not have to happen anymore? Then? I would say the first process is to try to get them so that they have access to the portal to do the reports, but okay. um, but regional should be reporting for their area. Um, and if you have uh, Marshall friends reach out to you via whatever method and you want to add their um, comments or notes into your report just to kind of merge it all together because as Kingdom Equestrian. I find myself merging all of that information to share with Kellic okay. and the society. Okay, I guess I was just, I didn't want them to have to do things like, you know, a couple of times if they, you know. Okay, that answers that question. When they get new stuff after they do the report, I'll just merge it into mine and, and send it on through the report so that you did it. Right. Nobody should have to go into the, the services portal. It's all should be done through the, the Google form. The equestrian is a drop down on that list too. Um, okay. Um have that has that been put out that we're gonna be using that starting next reporting period? I don't know if it's been posted to the, the equestrian page uh, specifically. Um, but it's it is on our, our kingdom webpage. Uh, okay. And Rapier went online first, so they uh, they're kind of trying stuff out. Um, so I know it's okay. also on the Rapier Facebook page. Um, when is the, I should probably know this off the top of my head, but I don't. Uh, when is the Equestrian Domes Day due? Do we know? Um, 14th of November. Okay. Unless, unless um, I don't know if when, if, if you decided that we switched the first of the month to like everybody else or not. Um, we haven't made an official um, reconciliation of that, but this seems like if we're changing, sir, if we're changing methods, then maybe we'll finish off the Dome's Day and start fresh with the first quarter um, as far as changing dates. Um, that doesn't 
it doesn't affect when my it, my report is due to society and to Pelic. I have a recording yeah. question. <laughs> okay, as I mentioned before, I'm the uh, Knights Marshal for the Barony of Northwoods. In the past, when we did everything through the portal, I was able to go into the portal and see whether all my cantons had reported. Right. How do I do that now? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, and that's something that we haven't fully worked out yet. Um, okay. So it's all getting put to a form so we can, can see it. Um, but we don't have that quite hammered out yet. Uh, I need to get with um, Mirabai, Master, Master, Maestro Mirabai to uh see her thoughts on that um we're kind of i guess testing this out with uh rapier so we'll uh we'll figure this out so next month when it's armored we'll we'll be better prepared oh, okay it's I good be, it's i think it's more important uh we're, we we can do a little bit of grace and trusting some people and, and getting stuff done uh it's more important to to get all i think off the services portal and make it easier to report than it is to to have uh make sure that we can check like uh have everybody access to that form just yet we'll make sure it gets done though okay thank you uh anybody else okay well if nobody has any questions we can we can end uh early and you can have back some of your night uh and we'll be i'll put this one up uh so Elena, any final thoughts? You're, uh, you're muted by- Sarah, me. I was, oh, am I muted again? No, I'm back again. Uh, just basically, we are the smallest marshal, we're the newest and the smallest marshal let in the kingdom. So we're still growing. If anybody would like to try coursing or anything else, we are willing to try to go everywhere. Just. We have this weird work schedule now for us. So, and my other person who usually does it is currently not able to travel long. So, other than that, nice to meet everybody tonight. Uh, Gwen, do you have anything? I will. I will ask a question. Um, if uh, asking what other marshall fields do, uh, we were having a roundtable in Equestrian, and the topic came up that we love to have marshals, but is it true that every marshal has to be an active authorized, in your case, fighter, in our case, rider? If our, bo if our bodies are getting older, but we're still willing to offer that service, it, is, that, is that an alternative that we can do where you don't have to be authorized on the field, but you can still be an active marshal? Yeah, um, so that's a, a, a question that came up uh, during the armored one as well. Um, and what we've, uh, in the, the latest edition of the handbook that we're gonna be putting out hopefully soon for the armored side, um, we did have that rule too, that you had to be uh, an authorized combatant uh, to have your, to be a marshal. Um, but we are trying something different where uh, at the discretion of the, the deputy kingdom or marshal for armored or myself, that we can waive that requirement so that people who have a, a history of being an armored combatant can can uh, maintain their marshalet even if they aren't currently authorized. Um, and I don't see any reason why that couldn't be extended to, to equestrian as well. Excellent, I think that'll make a lot of people happy. Thank you. Yep. I know that'll make a lot of people happy. Talking from one of the ones that is getting up there and doesn't always have the ability to ride anymore. <laughs> so I'll throw out there, guys, that that's fairly common in other kingdoms. And I think um, early on talked about in the society regs because, yeah, equestrians get beat up and eventually you stop getting on board. Um, so it's just a matter of getting to know their understanding of skill level and knowledge. Yep. Okay. Uh, anybody else have anything? Okay, well then I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.